it's very common. So this is a follow-up <laughs> from the motion scan. So in the, in the loma pelvic spine, let's just start there, we would have come in, we would have pushed through the SI joints, upper and lower joints, and then sacral base and sacral apex. We'd come, we would have come right up through the lumbar spine, asking for any pain or discomfort, and then palpating, see if there's any joint stiffness. If we found a level, we could passively motion palpate that by placing our fingers on the spinous processes. So I'm just going to, let's pretend that this is the L4-5 motion segment. So I've got my fingers right on the tips of the spinuses. And I'm going to take them in six directions. So bend forward at the waist. Just tell me if you have any pain or discomfort. Go as far as you can. Anything there? Come on back. Arch your back. There it all. A little above my fingers. Okay. I'm going to hook them. Pull them into rotation. Anything there? Nope. Now what should happen to the spinous is when I flex and extend it? Spread apart. Yeah. Spread apart. Come together, right? When I rotate him into left rotation, the one above should... Move outward. Go a little farther. When I laterally flex him, what should the spinuses do? They should approximate, but then they should also rotate which way? Left. Towards what? No. Same side. They're going to rotate. The spinuses will rotate towards the side of lateral flexion. So left lateral flexion is coupled with right rotation. All right, so when I do this, I should feel these spinuses, you know, sort of basically come together and laterally flex, and they're going to start to rotate towards the side that he bends to. I'm going to mark my spot, come into the other side. I can rotate them. I can laterally flex them. All right, so, and, and again, the spinuses should rotate, and they should come together and then rotate towards side lateral flexion. Okay, so that's passive motion palpation using the spinuses. I can flex and extend, I can do those six directions and I can check end feel. So I can spring on the joints as well, on the motion segments. Um, now, and these procedures, you know, are going to be the same from basically L5 up to about T3. Once you get to T3 and above, basically you're going to change your, you're going to use the head and neck to do your motion palpation because now you can activate um, this, these upper thoracics using the head and neck because they sort of functionally they're more a component of the cervical spine. So, if I give you a motion segment, you can do all of those procedures right up to about T3 or 4 by you know hooking the shoulders and moving the spine that way. With end field testing, you can, if we just slide up a little bit, let's the shirt up for a second so we can see. I can, I'm going to do those six directions. I'm going to take a little tissue pull. I can use this pincher grip, I can use my thumb. I'm on the spinous process area, bend forward, and I'm just gonna add some springing. Drop your arm by your side. No, by your side. That's it, and just let them hang, here we go. And I'm gonna help here, I'm gonna push here, and then I'm gonna spring at the bottom here. Anything there? Come on back, arch your back. No, come back, arch. I'm gonna push through the spinous and spring it. Anything there? I, I'm also going to check the facets by just coming a little lateral to that spinous and taking them into extension. Anything there? How about the other side? Okay. Bring it over there. We don't care about that. We're only looking for spinal pain right now. All right. Then I'm going to hook his spinous, hook his shoulder, pull him into rotation, check him into rotation. That would be left rotation. I'll come over and check the facet again. Doing left rotation. Here's my left lateral flexion. I'm on that spinous and I'm springing across. Mark my spot, come in on the other side, hook him. Here's my right rotation. Right rotation on the facet on his left side. Pull him into lateral flexion. Same spring. Okay, so that would be the end field testing. So basically it's the same six directions, just you know, different contacts and spring at the end. Questions on that? No, extension. Okay. So what, so inflection, what were you bringing on? Spinous into more flexion. Okay. Or come in with this pinch your knuckle into more flexion. Okay. Right, so your goal is to basically take that motion segment to its end range and then add a spring to see if those tissues can spring and are painless. Right? And you're trying to identify, you know, joint stiffness and pain.
pain associated with that. Okay, let's try that.